hello. This is my random story. And if you like it, go ahead, like, or do whatever. And maybe you'll like it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to do random stories. This is a new series. Guys, yeah, guys, I wish to do it. Meet me in the back. Okay. Um, so I just kind of random I stories is basically me coming up with random stories, no, short stories that um I just come up with as I go. So this first story that I come up with is a story about a little, um, happy smiley face, <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, there was a smiley face. He lived in a house that's really, oh, there's a kitty. <laughs> I mean, there was no kitty in the story. Well, he did have a cat. And one day, that little smiley face had wanted to go on an adventure. So, he ran outside, he packed up his bag, and went on an adventure. He went over high mountains, and went on high hills, mountain peaks, and did whatever. Now guys, do you wanna, okay. these guys will add to my story. Here, dip it, dip it in the water. <laughs> I just saw so dirty. Okay, they don't want to. <laughs> but basically, so, he then, one day, he found a castle. He ran up to it, thinking that there would be nothing. Then a guard came, and told him this. Stop right there, the guard said. You will never pass. And if you do, well, that's impossible, really. But the smiley face said, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yup. He said, aha. <laughs> but Mr. Knight, I need to get past. If I want to go on an adventure. This is a magical castle, the knight said. Dragons, dungeons, and all the others are inside. So, why can I not pass? Because, it's really important, oh wait, Mickey's gonna add to the story. How do you react, Mickey? Oh, fine. So, so it's so magical, you can't go past. King's orders. Are you sure? I'm pretty smart, and I can get past you really with one big little slip. Try your best. Then he told him, "You can li don't listen to anybody, but listen to me." He said, "Don't listen to nobody, like me, but listen to me." I confused the guy. He did not know what to do. He, uh, then started thinking. His head started hurting. Oh, mister. You must. Um, how do you answer this question? Just keep on thinking, the smiley said. Then, when he was thinking, he sneaked past the bridge. Nothing more really, but bricks. But there was an entry hall. There was a gate. And then, there was a door on the left side of the room. He opened it, but found nothing. 
really important. This armor. It's like an armory. Oh wait, I just found something, he said. It was a map. It was on the wall. It showed all around the castle. Every room and every block. He scanned it. And as he go past, there were statues of knights holding weapons. Which way? Hello! It looks empty. So he said hello to himself, basically. He walked past. A crash! Um. An axe fell down behind him. He got creeped out. He ran. And all of a sudden, the knight in front of him started running towards him. And it was empty, like it was a ghost. An axe. The, he threw his sword down. Almost hitting the smiley face. He kicked him aside. And then I kicked him aside and said, I said nothing really. I looked at him with a blank helmet. Nothing there. He was freaked out. He ran back, but then all the knights started staring at him. Then they all charged at him. And then more trouble came. Apparently, there was a secret door in the map that said, but then he came closer, and the closer he did, he could do nothing. They came closer and closer and closer. He couldn't do anything. There was nothing on the map that said that there was a room, and I, uh, but then when he pressed on the wall, a button, and it opened the secret door. Oh, oh no. And then the door opened as the knight slashed. He ran and ran into the room and almost got hit and closed the door. There was a torch on the side. He lit it. Please, where am I going to find an escape from this place? I'm so here growling. And the growling he must. He saw it. A big, mean, green, green dragon standing there, growling at him. All of a sudden, a gigantic roar, and then flames went everywhere. It was doom and flying. It was scary. He decided the room. He ran around the dragon. There was no escape from that room, but another secret door. There was a door behind him. There was a dungeon door. A door that might have laid into the dungeon. Those skeletons around him. Like the skeletons. The, the people must have fed the dragon. People. Serious, so he, he came through. One of the skeletons grabbed him. And then growled at him. He, he kicked its arm off. And its hand was still hanging out to his leg. The leg. The arm, the hand, clawing onto him. He broke the hand off. But then the dragon, all of a sudden, all the skeletons started standing ah! up. And then it happened. There was another knight. He came in. It was a white knight. Actually, it was a black knight. Riding a horse. He came to the through the door, and then I um, got a grab to the smiley face and brung him, bring, brung him onto the horse and rode out of the room, closing the door and locking it. The ghostly knights came, scary as they were. They came, and then they saw us, saw it. A giant baby! <laughs>
I'm just joking. That was not the part of the story. So they came and they ran. They, the horse freed him at a ranch outside. It was a den you know, for horses where they went in to keep them. They had armor, silver armor. Five more minutes of the story, so he thanked the knight. He said, I can't find my way home. He said, follow the golden tree. Trees and the golden leaves. That's the only way to find them. Really? I did not know that, he said. So he followed the golden trees. He found the field where he lived. Yes, I found home, he said, with Smiley. So the Smiley went inside, unpacked, and told his parents about the whole story. They were shocked, but then they heard a noise on the door. Knock, knock, knock. The open door, no one was there. Was there. He closed it and went out to investigate the field. The black knight was there. And so was the ghosts, knights. They started slashing. Then he figured out that the black knight was just the beginning. Then, when they, when they started coming, they started throwing, throwing knives at him, almost hitting him, and bow and arrow, bow and arrows, starting to fight, shoot at him. He got shot. He fell down, took out the bow and arrow. And then, as he went, a gigantic dragon came and started slashing rocks and fire. Nothing was there. Just him. He went inside. No one was there. They seized his parents. But then, one day, and then, as he ran, the knights almost hit him. A sword went through his body, but then he, the real, the smiley wrote, woke up from a horrible dream. <laughs> oh, so scary. All he could do was just breathe. So he had a heart attack for a second, but it was almost was just a dream. A scary dream that you would never forget. Yeah, and that was the end of his uh, of his story. The end. How did you guys like that story? I liked it. I came up with it. I didn't really. I hope you guys really like that story. Did you want to hear it? I don't know, I don't know. So you missed out on the story. Now, my next story, I'll try coming up with it on the way. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed your summer. And, see you later.